Before we can begin learning how to use AutoCAD for Mac, we need to install the software, assuming you haven't already. If you have, then you can probably move along to the next section without any issues. If you haven't, and you want some help setting it up or just to make sure you do it correctly, then this video here is for you. You can get access to AutoCAD for Mac a lot of different ways. One is through a DVD, one is through a jump drive, or another is through a downloadable file from Autodesk's website. You can download it and use a free 30-day trial. I've downloaded the file here, and I'm just going to double-click on it to open it up and start. Essentially, all you'll need to do is follow the on-screen instructions. Now, it will take a few minutes to install, so it's not something that you can do in just a couple of minutes or seconds. We'll try to shorten up the process here for you as much as we can. Once you get to the install screen here, you can just click on the Install Autodesk AutoCAD 2014 for Mac. If you want to look at any release notes about it, you can open up the PDF files here. Just double-click on the install and then follow the instructions. It'll guide you through the steps necessary, as it says here, to install the software. And it's actually a very simple process. Read through all of this. Click Continue. If you disagree or agree, after you've read the license, click. If you say disagree, of course, it won't install the software. Now, if you've purchased the software, you want to click on this option and enter in your serial number and product key. It should be on your packaging somewhere. If not, it will have been emailed to you from Autodesk. If you're just trying the 30-day trial period, click on this option here and click Continue. Make sure you have enough available space to install it. Click Install. Once you've clicked Install, entered any passwords for your user interface that you have, you'll just have to wait on the files. It will take a bit of time, as you can see, and it will give you a timer, which I have found to be accurate. I'm just going to pause the recording while we go. Once everything is finished, you will get this screen, click Close, and then you'll be able to run AutoCAD for Mac 2014 as much as you'd like. 